There isn't a parliamentary majority for a referendum on Europe now, and the problem is that if we are seen to talk about Europe to the exclusion of other things, then we're not talking about the cost of living, about education, about tax reform, about immigration, which is a bill being brought forward in the Queen's speech to allow us to properly tackle immigration for the first time in a political generation. But these are the things that people care about. Care about. They want to see us talking about them, and we're, we are, are at risk of not being seen to talk about the things that matter because we're just talking about Europe and the media are only covering discussion about Europe uh, over the last week or so. So you're going to introduce this bill, why? Uh, because I think it is about time that this issue was tackled head on by Parliament. I think that the Prime Minister has been very clear in saying that the Conservative Party position is that people should be given a say by the end of 2017 and Parliament should have an opportunity to legislate on that. And I hope when it is brought before Parliament that other, other MPs from other parties will be able to support it and agree with me that whatever you think about Europe and our relationship with Europe, the matter needs to be settled and people need to be given a choice. Was this your decision or did Government Whips, number 10, ring you up and say, James, for goodness sake, pick up this bill? I think we all knew before the private member's ballot uh, was drawn this morning that it was likely that Conservatives who were high on the list would have be encouraged to take the opportunity to bring were forward this encouraged? bill. Uh, and having, I have spoken to the Whips, but before I did that, I knew that this was something that I would want to do, because this has been a hot debate recently. It's actually been an important debate for quite a long time, and this is an opportunity to put it to rest. Now, you and I spoke yesterday we on did. the News Channel, and your argument was the party's got to stop talking about Europe. And yet here you are, the MP who almost guarantees you're going to keep talking about Europe. 